Well, today Manchester United is all about playing its second pre-season friendly and it's going to be against Lyon at the Mora Field Stadium that capacitates 67,144 thousand people welcome to united matters channel how are you guys and you're watching us from i go by the names of rock and david smash the like button comment and share if i told you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on the stories that you do upload in here on a daily smash the like button close to 300 times and we're here to bring you the club friendly preview that united is going to play against this side now we thank god for the gift of life and all the muslims we do thank Allah for the life so gonna hate really grant you Barak Fikum and let's see how this month really ends. We want to hit 15,000 subscribers before it ends and continue subscribing to this beautiful YouTube channel. Now, the first preseason game that we played was played in Oslo. United beat Leeds by two goals to nil, scored by Emran and Hegel and the first team that Ergen Hag fielded just didn't do enough to put United ahead because the first half ended 0-0. <clears throat> Fred Rodriguez was one of those that really never really got part into the team play, but looks like he's part onto his part onto the squad that is gonna have to travel to Scotland. Donny van de Bink is in, Anthony is in, and very many others. So we are going to see a little bit of a changed lineup as far as that is concerned and we anticipate that Eric Ten Hag is going to come in through and make some big changes in that squad of Manchester United. So we are going to discuss a little bit more on the predicted lineup as you guys flock into the comment section and tell us what you think about this starting 11 that is pretty, pretty probable that I'm gonna hate to come up with with my entire team of Manchester United. One of the things that we should note is John Evans is also back into the mix and he might also see himself really stay, also, also play part into the United 11 that is going to be named down in Scotland. So let's continue to let you know what this is all going to be about here on to the United Matters channel. Now, some huge changes that people are really anticipating, especially in the midfield because Donny van der Bink is absentia in the game of Scotland, in the game we played against uh, Leeds, is really notable. And his return is one of those most important things that the club needs to go ahead and do rectify to see that they put him into the shop window. All else, he does a miraculous comeback to obviously show Eric and Hag that I'm really going to be so much beneficial to your squad as you get into this. Now, let's start it off like this. Obviously, the system, you know, it's the usual one that you usually play. It's obviously a 4-2-3-1. And uh, we anticipate that Ten Hag is really going to be really playing this system. We go to the demarcations of the pitch and how these players are going to be demarcated. Four, <coughs> four defenders, two central defenders, and two fullbacks. Then a double pivot, three attacking midfielders and one center forward now we start it off with the uh, the goalkeeper tom heaton we all know that andrew yonana is traveling to manchester and is expected today to really arrive at manchester united and his medical is going to be done tomorrow that is on thursday sorry on wednesday depending if i told you are in uk if i told you are in africa it's today so tom heaton is going to do the needful to stay in goal and i think he really had the best of the game because he never had lots of shots to save that any shot that would have gone ahead to give him a lot of trying to see that he really stops it was really blocked by hannibal and he's going to the corner kick apart from that i never saw any other attack that was really so much so much threatened with the side of man united and that kept tom heaton keeping a clean sheet and obviously United when they brought in Zitko Ver, he also came in through and obviously kept a clean sheet but he looked a more better ball playing goalkeeper and his passing was very very interesting. Right back I think Aaron Wan-Bissaka remains <coughs> into that position because 
the players that most of you might be thinking are the Dallows, Rashford, have not gone ahead to travel with the squad of Man United. So we have to really go onto the squad that's going to hit travel with Man United. Then left back, it's going to be Alvaro Fernandez. I think Terrell Malassia would have gone ahead to be rid of the squad if at all he was fit, but sustained an injury upon his return at Carrington for the preseason. That is it. So that is Alvaro Fernandez going to be playing to that position to it that he does the needful for the club of Manchester United into the mix. Now, we go to the central defense. I think it's going to be maintained, obviously. Veran on the right side of the central defense and Lisandro Martinez on the left side of the central defense. That is it. Johnny Evans, I think, will come in through to play in the next 45 minutes. The first 45 minutes, I think, is going to be that back line, meaning that, that back five is going to be maintained into the mix. Now, the huge changes, I think, are going to start off in the midfield, as most of you also are going to hate to notice that we just can't really live with that midfield that really played against Leeds because we are playing Leon, a more, more, more strong side that's going to hate, obviously, coming through. And if at all you don't know about Leon, by the way, Leon have found themselves in a situation of having some good players. I think that's where even Lacazette plays for. Am I mistaken? I think that's where Lacazette, formerly at Arsenal, plays for. I think he plays for Lyon. And that is a team that United is going to face today down in Scotland. And you really know that it's not going to be an easy game. Because if you hear Lacazette, you obviously know what... It means he's one of the prolific strikers that have gone ahead to embrace the league one after leaving the Premier League. He was not he was not all prolific as he was, but after leaving Arsenal, he went ahead to score close to 20 goals plus into the league. So Lyon is really a very competitive team that we need to pay a lot of attention to, and we don't need to obviously put in a side that cannot obviously win lots of games for them and. Um, let me try to check something here for them because I need to know exactly the midfield, the, how, how the midfield really looks. Because when you look at Lyon, they have Cheki, they have Lacazette, they have Bacola, Taglifico, you know, he was at uh, Ajax, he's going to meet, um, he's going to meet uh, Eric Ten Hag again, they have Toliso. You know him, Toliso. He was once playing for, was it Bayern Munich? He's really a very good midfielder. And even Mendes is a good one, Kumbendi. And then Lokeba, Lovren, and Diomane. Lovren was playing at Liverpool. So it shows you that this team is really a strong side. So Everton Hag needs to really field a strong midfield. Because if at all you see a player of the caliber of Toliso playing into this team, oh, it just shows you how important you need to go ahead and obviously strengthen your midfield. So for that, I think Kobe Menu maintains his position in that position, sorry, in the double pivot of United as he did against Leeds and he had a very beautiful game. Then I think he's going to be played alongside Donny van de Beek. That is it according to me. It's going to be Donny van de Beek coming in through in the mix to play in the double pivot of Man United. He missed out on the first game he played against Leeds because he was recovering from injury. And the moment I saw him onto the team list that was going to hate to travel, just shows that he's ready to see it that he puts in some minutes into his legs. And for Donny van de Beek, it's really tricky that the manager has not going to hate to see the best of him amidst having introduced him into that Ajax team that really went ahead to do wonders way back in 2018, 2019. They almost played a Champions League finale and they are just some 20 minutes away and Spurs came back and scored three and knocked them out. <clears throat> so that is Donny van der Beek for you, but it ha he has a chance to prove himself. And obviously, the man that please, I've gonna hate to elevate my levels and I'm ready to sit it that I really get going. And this, even if he doesn't do that, I think it will be good to sit it that he's now injury free and teams can come for him and obviously take him so ahead of them i think it's going to be mason mount the new man united shirt number seven that is it playing into the central attack midfield area as the likes of bruno fernandez prepare to do their games in america now on the right attacking side it was 
Ahmad Diallo, and I think this time around it's going to be this man known as Anthony Santos. Returning from India, remember he got injured in the game of Chelsea. He missed out on the game of Fulham and the FA Cup final. He was a big miss because you know how he brings balance to the pitch. But Ahmad Diallo really played a very beautiful game. But as you know, Eric Ten Hag, he might not really do the needful to play him in because Anthony is back and he might play him in a change position altogether as we're going to see later left attacking side of the midfield obviously it's going to be Jordan Sancho playing that side and guess who's going to lead the line as a force number nine I think it's going to be Ahmad Diallo so that is my predicted starting 11 that I believe Eric Ten Hag is going to go in for to it that he gets in a win against Lyon Lyon is more stronger than Leeds because um Leeds, when you look at Leeds, was really depleted him because they never had their cream de la cream players. That is it. They never had them with them, and it really brought in a lot of um, a lot of questions on whether we can obviously take them on and obviously them giving us a game. Something that I believe they never gave us a game. And I think Leon is going to be one of those teams going to give us a game. It's coached by a former United coach, a player. Um, and he goes, uh, he's called by Lauren Blank, a player who came in through and played some years at Man United and was later sold. So that is my predicted starting 11 that I believe United is going to front to take on the Lyon side down in. Down in Scotland at the Murrayfield Stadium today. So your predictions up to that are welcome in the comment section below. Can David remains my name? I go for... A 3 nil win or a 3 1 win by Man United, and I think this is the first real test we are getting for this preseason because Leeds never gave us the test we wanted. And the good thing is that Anthony, Donny van der Bink, Johnny Evans are into the mix because in the second half, you go with that defense that Everton have went in for of Fish and which other guy that played in the central, the central defense, you will understand that will be will be really less in power and they can overpower us but if i will bring in johnny evans to play like alongside will fish although he's going into hibanian you'll understand that that defense is going to go ahead and obviously put in a work that no one is really going to stop so i believe it's really going to be something great for the club of man united and uh we'll be here bringing you the match the match day live match reaction player ratings and who the man of the match is as we prepare for the game you're going to play on 20 is it 20th no let me see there is a game we are playing there is a game we are playing again it's Wrexham before we play after Lyon we are playing our next game on the 23rd Yes, 23rd against Arsenal. So, that's going to be our next game. We're going to play as Man United as we talk on Arsenal. Then after Arsenal, we play Wrexham. After Wrexham, we play Real Madrid. After Real Madrid, we play Bayern. We play Borussia Dortmund. And that will be the end of it all. So, guys, I sign out for now. See you later. And I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living true God bless you abundantly. I'm out. Rock and David remains my name. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on the stories that you do upload on this channel. I sign out for now. See you later. Ciao, ciao.